Um, from chapter five, we uh, I introduce you the if else um, if else uh, statement, and so if else statement uh, can use uh, for uh, two to four different uh, selection. Okay, so remember that it will be on my test. So if else statement. Can use for a uh, two to four selection. So you need just you, you just need to learn that. So like if it rain and you know uh go to park uh I stay home otherwise otherwise they uh go to park. But in inside if else we usually have another set if else, right? So we did that at chapter five. We did that in chapter five. So now I'm going to introduce another. I'm going to introduce another uh statement. It's also selection, but it's called switch statement. And these we use switch statement to code for multiple alternative selection. And usually, we usually we work for. Uh, five to fifteen to twenty. More than that, we cannot. We have to sort it in, and start to use if else if. Okay, if else if else if structure. All right. So let me repeat. We are going to do switch statement. The switch switch statement, uh, is used is used for uh five to fifteen to all twenty is okay. The way we use these will be like this. Okay, this is the way we use it. So, uh, if there are fifteen case, every case is every uh selection is a case. The case represent different uh alternative and contain a value followed by colon. All right. So, uh, value for each case can be literal. Uh. Constant, nest, whatever here. Data type of value should be the same. Okay, what does that mean? Let's take a look. So every single case contain one or more statement. It has to be one or more. Okay, and when finish each case, you put a a break statement. So break statement tell computer to break out of this switch at that point. Must be the last statement of a case, uh, uh, class. Okay, if you don't have break, and your computer continue to process in instruction in later case class. Right. Uh. Right. So let's take a look one more time. How do we do case switch? What you do is um. This is a good programming practice to document end switch. So end switch, we put end switch. Uh, also include a default uh uh class processed by section expert does not match any value. Default uh can appear anywhere, but usually as at the last. If this is the last, you don't need to put break. Right, so let's take a look. The way you do this right here, switch and switch. There's a variable here. Case value one, value two, case two, case three, default. Everything has a break, but the default break can be optional. All right. So for example here, for example here, we have a uh. Character grade, okay. So we switch on this grade right now. If that's A, excellent break. B, above average break. C, average. Both D and F are F. So case D, case F, uh, they are F. D four. All right. In case you give me a, you know, uh, E. Or、uh, uh, X, so that's invalid break, and the default don't need to have the break. All right, so 
One more example, like this example, all right. The sales manager at this company, uh, the product ID one two five seven nine eleven, and there's different price. Okay, so this is the switch statement. All right, this is uh the switch statement. 